Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm here to share this sweet ice cream card with you. Let me set it aside and we'll get started. For today's card, I'm going to be using the sweet ice cream stamp set and uh, the color combo from this week's The Spot Creative Challenge. So I'm just putting down some scrap paper and I've got my layer of basic white that's four by five and a quarter and this Plenty of Patterns mask. And let me just decide exactly how I want to lay this mask on here. So then I need my blending brush and I'm going to blend on some pale papaya. So for this blend, I just want a light bit of the pale papaya instead of a really deep color. So I'm pouncing off on my scrap paper. If you've seen any of my cards where I've used blending brushes before, there are lots of different ways to choose how to blend your ink on depending on how intense you'd like the finished ink to be. need to move my hand around here. This is where I need to be ambidextrous so that I can could blend with both hands. I don't trust myself to do that with my left hand. It might be fine, but it might be just horrible. I'm thinking on camera is not the place to try that out. And we're almost done with our background. Just checking now to see if I've gotten a little bit of ink everywhere. And then let's lift that mask off and see that pretty background. So I'm going to set this aside, put my blending brush and my scrap piece of paper out of the way and close up this pale papaya ink pad. So next I've got another piece of basic white and wait a minute, I need to bring in my scrap paper here. And let's bring that pale papaya ink pad back in. And I want to stamp with this squarish piece of the popsicle. And let me clean off my stamp. And then I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral and stamp the rounded piece over top. Just checking to see if I've got that lined up. And we get kind of a two-tone ice cream that way. And then while I'm here, I'm going to use that Calypso Coral and that's a little more stick than I need on this. So I'm going to use my ink pad, but place my stamp so that it's near the top and not inking all of the stick. That's more in proportion to what I want. And then I've got a, that little kind of wood fill image, and we're going to fill that with the Calypso Coral. Okay, so let's put this ink out of the way and close up my pale papaya and bring in the coastal cabana and let's do that squarish image again. Oh, 
you know what? I meant to stamp off. So let's stamp off and do that squarish image. And then let's do the rounded one at full strength at the top. And then let's do the same thing with our stick and just not ink the top part of that. Okay, and then we're going to give this one some blue Calypso Coral wood grain in there. Okay, so there are our popsicles. And then next, I've got one of those strips that you cut off the um, a piece of cardstock as you're cutting your layers down. Let's move this out of the way. And I need to bring my Calypso Coral ink back in and then I have my sentiment let me see if I can straighten it up just a little bit on the block here and then perhaps I'll have a better chance of stamping it straight on here okay that looks pretty good so then we need to pull out our paper snips and I'm going to cut out my popsicles. These should be fairly easy cutting. And you can leave a border or cut right up to the edge of your image, whichever way you prefer your fussy cut pieces. Just remember, you're turning the paper and not your scissors as you do the cutting. Okay, so I'll cut this other one and I'll be right back. Okay, so both of my popsicles are cut out and I'm just going to move the sentiment aside for a moment and bring in a basic white circle that I've cut with a layering circle die and the pale papaya ink again, and then this little um, dotty image from the stamp set. Love when stamp sets have little fill images like this. It's an easy way to make a layer or a background more interesting. So let's start and assemble our pieces. I have a thick basic white base, five and a half by eight and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. And let's find my dimensionals over here for our layer that was blended at the beginning using the Plenty of Patterns masks. If you're in the U.S. and enjoy my videos, please do some of your shopping in my Stampin' Up! store. You can find the link in the description below. Now let's not quite straight over here on the left and normally I'm very good about not pushing down completely until I've had a look so let's see if I can lift this off gently enough there we go I'm having a lot of not straight here the last couple of days so I just need to release this top one here that was in the middle, the downside. There we go. And then I just want to pull that a tiny bit to the right. And then we're going to use my snips and remove this little piece of paper from the card base and nobody will ever know it happened unless they're watching this video. Okay, so next, we're going to add dimensionals to our circle. 
and then let's add our popsicles. Okay, and I want some mini Stampin' Dimensionals. Let me grab a sheet of those over here to put down here on the stick. So I'm going to double this one and then single this one and the one on the stick because they'll be laying on the Calypso Coral Popsicle. Just trying to make the most of those uh, that dotted background as I place these on. Okay, Oop. I do need another mini dimensional down here at the bottom. I thought it was going to hit the Calypso Coral, but not with the way that I'm going to angle it. Okay, and then let's Put this on. Okay, and then we need to embellish a little bit. Let me grab some white baker's twine. And I am going to fluff that bow just a little bit. And let me grab my scissors here. And then we'll pull this tail right on through. Whoops. And push that back to the center a little. Okay, and here are my mini glue dots. So we're just going to rest that on there a moment. Let's take this out of the way. And I need to trim this down. So. I'm going to trim a little bit off this edge and try to be straightish. And then we're going to give that a little banner end on this end. Okay. And then straight ish here. That's not straight ish enough. Let's see if that's better. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And I need dimensionals for the back of this. So let's go with a double stack. And then let's see how we're... Okay. And before I adhere that completely. I want to tuck my little bow in. Oops. So let's tuck this up so that it will be coming right out from under the sentiment. Maybe just a smidge too high. Let's move that again. Okay. And then let's add the sentiment here. I want a dot of glue on this end to hold it down. And then that's right out at the edge. And where are my scissors here? So I want to trim this tail just a little bit. And then we need a little more embellishment. For that embellishment, I'm going to use some of these Artistry Blooms adhesive back sequins. I just want to move some of this mess out of the way. And let me grab my Take Your Pick. And it makes popping these on so much easier. Do a little trio cluster up here.
and a pair over here. And there we are. Sweet ice cream card. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card making friends. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. And have a great day. Thanks for stopping in. Bye.